Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. What are we looking at? We are looking at a 1973 Honda Elsinore MT250. Oh yeah, this is what we're looking at. So I just got this today. Um, this was uh, free to me. So this was a, um, a donation from Anthony over at, um, what do you call it there, Ghost Junk Removal. Donated this to the channel. This is a two-stroke, 250 cc, and uh, she needs a lot of love, but we're gonna get it. Uh, we are gonna make sure that this bike gets the love that it needs. So, what do we gotta do to this motor? Well, the engine is burnt up, and I'll show you guys, without even doing anything to the engine i'm going to show you guys some of the things you guys should be looking at when you're looking at a two-stroke bike okay tall tail signs that you are going to have some engine problems okay first we're going to look at the exhaust baffle it is missing and it's loaded with crap and i believe it's cut because there is some metal on there and it is missing so what happens when that is missing? Anybody? That means it has a lean condition. That right there is a good cause of a lean condition. Also, when you're coming over here, whenever you see that, okay, whenever you see that there's a baffle missing and that the pipe has been cut, you kind of want to look around and see what else you might notice, you know? So we come down here and we look and go, oh, what else you guys see? You guys see anything crazy right there? I'll show you. Electrical tape on the intake. Electrical tape is not a seal. You need to replace the intake. Okay? This is a two plug head. And, um, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's been beaten. Um, it looks like they were going to pull the engine off because it's missing a couple of the engine bolts. It's missing the engine bolt down bottom there. And one up in the front there. So we get a couple of bolts missing. Um, the tank hardware is missing. The air filter box has a brand new air filter in it. But it's missing the hardware to mount it. And the, uh, the screw for here. Not to mention the intake boot is kind of wonky. Okay, so we have, we have some stuff there that's wrong. Also, if you come on this side again, it's got a uh, the wrong mount i guess you'd say that and mount for the exhaust it's got one ear broken off the frame the hardware is missing off here and it's got some wiring disconnected kill switch wiring um so there is a lot wrong with this bike but there's also a lot right with this bike this bike is in pretty darn good shape i opened up the tank you can't really see it but there is light rust no heavy rust the bike has high mileage for a two-stroke, 9,161 miles, which uh, on, you know, on an original, uh, which we call it there, on an original bike, that's considered high. Um, they did lower the bike down. You can see right here the notches right here, these lines right here, so you can drop your bike down, drop the front end down, and make it lower or raise it up to make it higher, just by loosening the clamps on the triple tree. The bike is a 1973. I didn't know if I said that already. Um, it's got the fuel, the uh, nice air. Um, can't talk today. Headlight assembly, but they got aftermarket um, pedestals for the lights. Hold on one second, and I'll introduce you guys real quick to the newest member of my family, Bear. Bear, say hi. <laughs> he is ten weeks old. So this is my my chocolate, my chocolate lab. Yeah, name is Bear. Oh, chewing on my hand. Ah! <laughs> so, there is a lot of good on this bike. Well, a lot of bad too, because we got to pull this engine apart. But you know what? The most costly part of this whole thing is it's going to need a top end. I kicked it over, and um, you can hear you can hear it scraping inside here, um, which is not good. But there's also another thing. I got to split the case to do the crank seals, which I know are bad just from the condition of the bike. Um, they got to be done anyway. Crank, crank seals and bearings. I could hear a growl. Um, but I want to show you guys something that you should never, ever, 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 ever do 
in any circumstance, and I mean ever, this is what will cost you a ton of money and labor, okay? So in order to do the crank seals, I got to split the case, I mean the crank bearings and seals, I got to split the case, I got to do the top end. But I can't just take this engine and split the case, and I'm going to show you guys why, and the biggest part of the problem. In order to split this case, look right here, someone went crazy with a Walmart welder and welded that sprocket onto the shaft. So when they welded that onto the shaft, I now cannot split this case without cutting that all apart. And in order to cut that apart, I need to cut that shaft. I'm going to grind that off, grind off all that weld. It's going to end up damaging the shaft, and I'll never be able to put the retainer back on. So the shaft is going to have to be replaced in the transmission, which means I have to split the case to get to the transmission. So there is a lot of... See, that right there takes away from the bike. So you're looking at the bike, it's the overall condition's okay. It's got some it's got a cracked side cover, not the end of the world. I'm not I'm not mad about that at all. But now I gotta split the case and do it that way. So when people get rid of bikes, they get rid of bikes for a reason. And that right there, you know, you think, oh we'll just split the case and change out that shaft. It's a little bit more to it than that. Because you gotta do the crank bearings, you gotta have the, the top end done. Um, you know, because on this particular bike, it needs to have the top end done because it's one out. And uh, all kinds of little doodads. So they put a new seat cover on. Nice seat cover. They did a good job, by the way, with the seat pan. They redid the seat pan. They hammered it out. You can see where they did all that with the hammer marks. The studs are all cleaned up. It's missing the bracketry for the seat. So we're going to have to get the brackets for the seat and do all that. One of the ears are broken off. So this, there's a lot of things that are wrong and incorrect on this bike. But that's okay. So now we're going to take a look and see what the bike came with. The bike came with some stuff right over here. Except for that ring right there that goes to my truck. But it came with new chains. So that's a bonus. It came with a lot of hardware. Honda hardware kit, which is all screws, nuts, and bolts. Those are good. It came with a battery box and cover. So the whole battery box and cover. It has the side cover right here for the oil pump. The cover right here that goes on to the side cover for your adjustment. Um, and I did see in here, where did I see it? Right here. The three replacement screws for that. A couple of pedestals for the rear. A pen. In case you have to write something down. A pocket knife. In case you need a pocket knife to open up these packages. And with that. Uh, let's see here. Throw that in there. It came with a whole electrical harness. Which brings me to my next point. I have to do an electrical assessment on this bike to see if that is warranted. I think they replaced, they want to replace that because of stuff like this. And, um, what do you call it there? There was one other spot that I saw that had a, a bad wire. Um, so I got to check the wiring. But if it does need a wiring harness, we have one. And hopefully it's for this, this year make and model. So I'm going to have to go and check that. It did come with a lot of replacement lights. It came with four lights, which is awesome. And then it came with two Suzuki lights. So I don't know if they were planning on putting Suzuki lights on this. But that's okay if they were, because these ain't going on here. Um, it also came with a bag of Barts, which I don't even know what's in here. So why I have you here, let's go through this and take a look and see what came in that bag of parts. And it came with the exhaust uh, the exhaust shield, which is awesome. I'm assuming those lights came from Babbitt's Online. I have ordered many lights from them, and it looks like their uh, product. And uh, Babbitt's Online, you can go on there to get parts, and I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm going to give them a little uh, street credit here. Okay, Babbitt's Online, you can buy all kinds of replacement parts for your bike. They have tail lights, marker lights, all kinds of stuff, cables for all 
just all kinds of bikes. Um, you may or may not find your bike on there, but I have bought some parts on there from my Yamaha Virago, and uh, they have fast shipping, a great fair price, and I was very, very happy with them, so I do not mind giving Babbitt's Online some credit, and you can see down bottom there, they deal with uh, Articat, Honda, Kawasaki, KTM, Polaris, Suzuki, Yamaha, and uh, that, Textron. Or maybe that's the label thing, I don't know. Never heard of Textron. Okay, so now let's take a look and see what we got in the big bag of boo-boos. What do we got in the bag of boo-boos? Okay, so we get the rubber, little rubber mount. Looks like a seat lock. Um, some brackets. There's Honda, I don't know, oh, our oh, clips right there, little R hair pins. And some, assuming the seat, yep, and the seat pins. So it's got the seat pins, no seat brackets. Um, so it's got the mounts, the hair pins, and all that, so that's a good thing. So we'll get in there with that. I'm going to put those parts back in here. Okay. And it looks like we have quite a bit of stuff there for that. So, um... This was all in there, so I'm just checking it all out. Oh, that's something totally different. That looks like a fireplace of some sort. Okay, so we don't need that. So, it came with a big box of parts. So that's a positive. So, we got the pedestals for all the lights um, to make this thing street legal, which is awesome. And now we have to really spend some money on getting that top end off and getting that done. We're going to just rip the motor off this, go through it like we do all the other bikes. This is going to be a winter project. I am not working on this anytime soon. Just because. Just because there are so many bikes that I have ahead of this. So this is going to be a back burner project. But um, over the winter we'll take the motor off. We'll, we'll actually take the motor off before the winter to get that out of there. And I'll put this, in, I'll put this bike in the storage and uh, go from there. But I wanted to do a first look on it and show you guys what I got. Tires don't look too bad. There is a couple of dry rot spots on them, but they have they still have plenty of meat. And uh, this is an on off road bike. This Elsinore is literally on off road. Um, you can register this for the street or take it off road. Uh, but keep in mind, it's an enduro bike. So this way, it can handle heavier trails than the uh, the KE100. But it is still a pretty cool bike. So. Yeah, you're going to like this. This can definitely handle a lot more than the KE100, is what I should have said. Um, this bike right here will literally get the front wheel up once it's all done. But we have a lot to do to get it to that point. So, um, basically, we're going to tear apart this entire engine, find out all the parts and pieces of what it needs, and go from there. So, yeah. Oh, and the exhaust is loose, too. So, there is some hardware missing for the exhaust. It, like I said guys, it needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of love, but um, and every time I turn around I'm finding more and more things wrong with it So um, Am I complaining? Absolutely not, but I can show you guys one more thing the mount up in the front here It's just Where the where the key lock is Right there. It looks like it hasn't been used in 100 years. So I'll show you this way here though It's all corroded in there so, yeah, there's a lot, guys. There's a lot. There's a lot going on with it. But we're going to figure it out. We're going to go through the whole entire bike. And it will be a fun bike build over the winter. So this is the Elsinore MT250 1973. Hope you guys like it. And I will talk to you guys later. I'm out.